welcome to another video. In this one, we'll show you the Titan Web Survey widget image selection. This is where you can select image and push that as a value back to Salesforce. It exists under the survey, and this is it right here. So let me grab it across and I'll show you the basic configuration, which is the static configuration. So what you do is you edit mapping, you add your choices. Let's say if I just add three flags. So the first flag is United Kingdom. Second one is, let's say, France. And then the last one is to be Sweden. Now you can choose an image. So I'll just go ahead and apply an image for each one. Wrong. That is not a French flag. This one is. And this one is that. So what we'll do is once you've assigned your images like that, you can essentially set them up to be selected, individual that is, and then push that selected back to Salesforce. So if I show you save and preview, like this, you could push through. Now, that's the most simplest way of doing it. There is also a dynamic way of doing it, which is bringing it back from Salesforce. If I delete this again, and let me just pull across a components again. So we'll go into survey, pull in this here again. Now, what I want this to be is dynamic coming from Salesforce. Now, when you get it from Salesforce, one of the things you need to understand is that first of all, it needs to be a URL field. It can't just be like a rich text image. It won't work. So in my case, it's a, it's a simple URL with the image inside it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sync from Salesforce. I'm going to bring the from accounts and I'm going to bring up to four accounts where website, which is my image field, is not empty. And then value will be their account ID. And the image will be the website, which is where the URL lives. Now, in a nutshell, if I was to let's say make it a little bit like this, click save and click preview. Now you can see it's pulled in. I mean, the images are distorted, it's because of the size, but that really isn't the point. The point is that you can pull them dynamically across from Salesforce in here, but obviously the field type must be URL, and then it must have image um, URL like this with .png in the end or, or JPEG or whatever have you. But once that is done, you can push this to Salesforce. So you can go into, let's say I'm creating a simple account. And I'm going to say this one is to be account name. Now in my example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that response um, over here into this survey response field. So I'll show you how that works. So there is my account name. Now I'm just going to get a button, put the button in here, and say submit. All right, we'll go to the hyperlink, figure action, Salesforce action, and I'm going to set up my push. We are going to create an account. And in the mapping, just two fields, account name, and then finally the survey response field is going to get my image choice selection. All right, that is what you want to select. And once it's selected, apply, close, sign your action, and then we're good to go. All right, so if I publish this now, and let's say I'll call this one image selection account, choose United Kingdom, oh sorry, Australia here, and then we'll submit it. And once it's submitted, I'll show you what it looks like in Salesforce. Right, so here we are, here's the account that's been created and you can see that I've pushed the actual value behind that specific um, in here. Now, you may ask where did that value come from? Well, the value came from in my original configuration. 
So when I did sync from Salesforce, I said the value is to be the account ID. Now it can be anything really. You can you can choose the actual URL. So let's just choose that for example, and then let's run it again. So let me preview this, and then let me delete this. So now I'll say image URL account. So now let's just choose China, click submit, and then let's see what happens. And it's failed because the max length on that field is 50. But point being is, you know, you can push anything. You can push the entire URL. In this case, what I tried to do was push this entire URL in there, but unluckily it's exceeded that 50 length. But you can push anything into your server response field, just make sure that the field is big enough to accept that value and not like my case there. But that's really it. You can push either the value behind it or the actual URL and back into Salesforce. And this is how it's done. This is the image selection survey module.